Hello friends, welcome to the service now world and today we will see part 5 of scenario based interview questions in service now and as you know in this series we are discussing about the real time scenarios which are given by interviewer during the interview. So let's see the today's scenario for implementation. So today's scenario is like create a button named request support in an incident form and make sure that the button will be visible only those users who having application development group access and there will be like additional requirement like after clicking on that button just stay on the same page so like we have to create one ui action that is request support in an incident form and we have to make sure like uh, that will be visible only the group members who having the application development group access so how we'll do that let's see today so let's go to the instance and try to implement it so now we are in our instance and here let's open one incident record first so if you see currently like three buttons are showing update resolve and delete and I just want to create one more button that is request support that will show the incident form. So let's do it. So I'm just So now we are in a UI action. Just click on new. So now the new UI action form is open. So what will be the name? So name will be the request support that is our button name and then what kind uh, what kind of this ui action so it's a form button and here if you see they are showing show insert and show update means you want to show for the new record or you do you want to show for the existing record so i don't want to show for the new record so i just uncheck show insert and after that we having one condition as well like i want to make this ui action visible only who having the application development group access so for that we need to put the condition in condition field firstly we check before putting the condition whether we having the whether we having that application development group is there or not so i'm just open duplicate tab and let's check the group So now if you see like we already having the application development group. So let's put the condition. So condition will be like gs dot get user dot is member of member of what member of our group member group name that is application development and here like uh, i'll just put one message info message so add info message so you have requested for support and I'm just saving it so now we have created a UI action and we have put the condition at with so let me explain the condition condition is gs dot get user it will take the current logged in user and check whether that current logged in user is a member of application development group or not if it's a member of application development group then only this ui action will be visible otherwise this ui action won't be visible right so if you go to the so currently i'm logged in as a system administrator so if i go to the 
incident record and if I open any incident record so you see that I am also not able to see that UI action why because I don't have the um, application development group access right so if I will add myself in that group the like system administrator so maybe after that I'll I'll be able to see right so let's add it so let me go to the group so this is the group application development and I'll just edit it and here I'll just type system okay it's game system I'll just add it so previously if you notice that we are not able to see that uh, UI action that button but now if I go to the incident form so now if you see like we are able to see that uh, button that request support and if I click on that we'll get one info message we are getting the info message like you have requested for support but if you noticed like uh, there will be one additional requirement is there that we have to stay on the same page right so for that we need to write one more line of script so let's go to the ui action so in this time we have already opened that ui action so in this script we have to add one more line so loan line that is action dot set redirect URL to the current page or current records so after clicking on that like it will stay on the same page so I am just saving it so now if I will open any of the record I'm getting the button and now if I'll click on request support so you will just notice it so now if you notice like previous uh, previously we are re uh, re to some other page but now we are stay on the same page and we are getting our info message right so now let's check for the someone who don't have the access of uh, this a uh, application development group access but they having the access of the incident table so let's take one user let's take one favorite user that is Abel Tutor and I'll just add the role ITIL so they having the incident table access right so now one user we have like who having the ITIL access means they having the incident table access but they don't have application development group access so let's impersonate this user and check whether they are able to see that button or not so i'm just impersonating this user so now i have impersonated as a user uh, able tutor if you see here and as we know like this user having the ITIL access means they are able to access the incident table but they don't have the application de uh, development group access so check whether they are able to see that uh, button or not I'm just opening any existing incident so if you see there like, they are able to access the table right and if I open that and you see 
that they are not able to see that uh, request support button right and let's check the user other than admin who having the application development group access so i'm just ending the impersonation Here is our group. So this is our group. And I'll take this user Bushra Akhtar. And with this, firstly we'll check whether they are having the ITL access or not. Yes, so they're having the ITIL role, right? And they're having the application development group access as well. So we'll check. I'll impersonate as a user Bushra Akhtar now. So now I have impersonated as a user Bushra Akhtar and let's check they are able to see that button or not. Yes, they are able to see and when I click on that button, we are getting that our message, info message and we are still on the same page. So I'll just end the impersonation. So like that, we'll implement our requirement. So let me explain you one more time. We have create, we have a requirement like we have to create one UI action and that UI action will be visible only the group members who are having the application development group access okay so uh, for that what we have done we have created one ui action that is on incident table and we have just put this condition so condition is if the we have to check the whether the current logged in user so gs.get user will take the current current logged in user and check whether they are they having the access of application development group or not so sometimes what happened like uh, maybe they will ask you orally maybe they will not ask you to implement on the instance so on the instance they will ask you orally like i having one uh, ui action and i just want to make visible to the, that ui action to particular some xyz group so how you will do that so maybe they will ask like uh, you just you say i'll put some condition so maybe they will ask this condition so maybe may, maybe they will ask on the chat like uh, what exactly line of code you put in the condition? Can you just ping me? So maybe like that may on maybe they will ask you on maybe they will ask to implement on the instance as well. So I just thought like uh, it, uh, it, like uh, it will be uh, important. So that's why I just kept them under the category of scenario based interview questions. So I hope you liked it. And if you have any query, please write in the comment box. Till that time, thank you, God bless you all.